This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Turns out, sauntering through Greece. <laughs> be delicious, a kimono. Ugh. Face is on the floor. <laughs> oh my God, hiring an assistant. Doing hot girl shit. chill relaxed intro because that is kind of that's where my head's at right now all of the weekend vibes and I kind of just wanted to share that with you guys and kind of just set the tone for the video because it is a pretty busy vlog I don't know guys we're just in a good energy right now and I figured I just felt like talking to you guys but I've had a really good day I picked up my packages on the way home and I don't know I started trying this stuff on as you can see it was putting me in a good mood and I thought why the hell not just start the vlog here um I, I don't know maybe show you some of the stuff that I'm opening as I'm opening it I don't know it's not gonna launch into a full-on haul or anything I am feeling a sense of accomplishment because I finished my second book this month oh my god I really haven't properly read like since maybe a year and a half two years ago i think the all souls trilogy was the last thing that was like you know a decent book that i read basically for this i read when we cease to understand the world by benjamin labutut Labut uh which is a recommendation from lizzie hadfield from shot from the street i actually sent it to my friend for his birthday she's kind of like history and science melded together with fiction. Definitely not for everyone, but I just burned through this in about a week and a half, The Convoluted Universe Book One by Dolores Cannon. She was like a hypno-regression therapist in like the 70s and 80s. And if you're into kind of past lives and like UFOs and just parallel universes and weird shit and you have a very open mind and you like your head to be bent like a pretzel, um, this is kind of like a good non-fiction. I'm wearing an old weekday ribbed tank top. They still always carry these, but I just cropped mine. I cut it up a little bit. And yes, there's a little bit of nip. Look, if we're still discussing nips being inappropriate in 2021, I I can't help you. You know, I, I, the skirt is from Urban Outfitters via ASOS. I think it might be sold out, so I will link similar if I can find it, but I just thought it was really Fun. I like the crisscross detail, it looked comfy. I love these little like mesh pieces because they always are super comfy. I like me a little bit of a psychedelic print at the moment. I've just been having so much fun. Ooh, the lighting's taken a turn for the worst. I think a storm is rolling in, but uh, I got this jaded London top. I wouldn't style it like this with the jeans. Um, I'd probably wear like, I don't know, my black dickies or like a black mini skirt, but um, I thought it was really cool. I love these little 90s button ups that are out at the moment. Um, and I think with my hair up, it'll just be like a Luke. Very, very happy with my first piece from them. It's nice and kind of breathable and lightweight as well. So I don't know, with my hair down, I feel like this is a little too Princess Jasmine-y for me. However, I was on Pinterest and I saw this. I'm like, Pinterest is a dangerous, dangerous place, but it's from Nasty Gal. However, I didn't buy it directly from Nasty Gal. It is still available, so I'll link it below if you really love it. However, what I do is, when I see something on a fast fashion website, I always, always check Poshmark and Depop first because like eight times out of 10, somebody's trying to sell it. Actually, do you know what? It is kind of nice, isn't it? I cannot cope with the fact it is literally almost pitch black outside with the storm. I've had to move closer to the window so you guys can actually see me, but it's fine because 
my outfit's gonna brighten things up these are the last things i got i think i've been watching a little bit too much love island guys but uh this purple mesh asos set it comes with a like a mesh skirt as well and um, this is obviously like a bikini cover-up and i already raved about the skirt on instagram i've worn it a couple of times already but it's from a cute etsy seller from turkey she hand makes these guys who am i like could you imagine me wearing this two years ago absolutely not I built up the perfect capsule wardrobe like plain tees tanks levi's jeans like really great caps of pieces and then one day you're just like oh my god i'm so bored there's always an element of me that's going to be playful with fashion i think and i don't know i feel like happy clothes happy gal maybe it's a reflection what do you guys think do you feel like your clothes tend to match your mood or like where you're at also made a bunch of glacier repurchases everything in here is things that i've loved and tried before i wear the shade like pretty much every day but this is zip which is kind of like more of a red. Ooh, I like it. It goes really well with the lilac. In good form despite this storm. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. That was necessarily chaotic. Yay, first try. Straight. Questionable, higgledy piggledy. Okay, hello, good morning. Um, I'm halfway ready. I have my skin on, my outfit on, um, but I wanted to quickly turn on the camera because I'm, well, I'm not rushing, I'm actually on time, but I just felt like I should film this bit. We all know my predisposition to being late and I don't want to be late. And I kind of want to just continue on that trajectory. So I'm just taking out my Heartless waves, I'm hoping I'm having a good heartless wave. Well, my hair is gonna be kind of semi up anyway. But I'm wearing a super fun outfit. I've just got like a little rack of stuff prepared over there. Um, I did all of the prep last night for a shoot day. I haven't um, organized one of these in so long, but one of my goals for getting back was to work with more creatives and just to collaborate a bit more. So a lovely girl called Chloe that I've crossed paths with and we're just gonna have like a fun relaxed shoot day in Soho. I don't know if I'll be able to like get any footage because I'm gonna be using my phone a lot and you know whatever but we're gonna be shooting everything on film and then just some iPhone photos I think but I've got like a bunch of fun looks like this and I wanted to shoot them so I figured I would just hire her for the day and just see what it was like kind of working with someone else again. This is the Bailey pajama set from Lisa Says Gap. I feel like that's like one of my favorite places to shop recently. I've been trying to be good and not buy too much, but it was on sale and um, I kind of couldn't resist it. I kind of saw myself in it like on holidays in the future. Can you imagine me like sauntering through Greece? Yeah, you get the picture anyway. I don't normally do like a lot of outfits in one day. I think it's kind of like not fun, but actually for produ productivity, it would be really good for me to just like knock it all out in one afternoon and not have to worry about content for like a week. I don't think my camera is quite capturing the sheer weight of this bag. It feels like 50 pounds. Aside from the outfit I have on, I have three outfits packed, three different pairs of shoes, two bags, makeup for touch-ups because it's hot as hell today, which is also another reason why I don't like bulk shooting, but we out here, we're doing it for the gram. Obviously during the pandemic, I wasn't really shooting with anyone because no one was hanging out and then i don't really have anyone like ruth in my neighborhood or somebody i meet kind of every other day to kind of just casually shoot outfits like friends shooting friends vibes so i've kind of just taken the initiative to be a bit more efficient and also it does does give me the opportunity to uh work with other people so push me out of my comfort zone a little bit and uh, hopefully create some nice looking content my face is on the floor but i'm having lunch with Chloe, who is helping me shoot today. We're just having a little Jack's wife Frida brunch situation. But you've been an absolute star. Hi. It's been so helpful. <laughs> it's so, so hot. It's like 33 degrees Celsius today, which is what in Fahrenheit, like 99. 99, yeah. 99 degrees, guys. And I'm on outfit number three. But we're getting there. We've got one more left to go after brunch. But uh, yeah, I've actually, this is my second time back here this month. I have to say, I take back everything I said. I like Jack's wife Frida now. <laughs> I'm back 
my jeans are open. What was I thinking? I did not expect it to be that hot today. Like it has to have been one of the hottest days of summer all year, the day that I decide to shoot and change on the street into four different outfits. <laughs> but we made it. I'm extremely dehydrated. We the gym surpassed all my expectations. She just got it. Like sometimes you just shoot pictures with people and they just they just know what's flattering and what isn't and they just it just clicks really quickly. Um, she's a really great Instagram page herself so I just knew she'd have like the eye to kind of work efficiently with me so we got about four looks done plus iPhoto plus video plus film um, in like two hours and then we had brunch and shot the last look that I'm in now changing into jeans was just like the last straw for me I'm done um, it's been about five hours since I left the house I'm an absolute mess there is not a drop of makeup left on my face apart from my eyeliner and my mascara um, but yeah all in all really good productive day I'm really chuffed with myself actually like do you know I don't know I'm usually really badly prepared for shoot days like I'll leave it till the mat last minute to choose the outfits and then I hate them because I haven't taken time to style them but I properly tried on everything yesterday and just made sure I was really happy and pre-packed it and was just like prepared for once and it made all the difference and I was on time and despite the heat we just like knocked it out. Chill here, I've got three hours until my first DJ lesson which I'm excited about. Um, I'm having a class with the local DJ in Brooklyn and I'm nervous. Anything new in your late 20s is just way more <laughs> nerve-wracking than it is when you're younger but I've kind of gone as far as I can with it by myself and even though I usually am a big self-learner or self-teacher, self-taught type of person with a lot of things, I think this is a really good opportunity to be for me to be like social and just have a bit more of like a hands-on learning experience and hopefully pick it up a bit faster. My dream is for next year to be able to actually do little sets for you guys, fingers crossed. I will also leave my Spotify playlists linked below. Personally recommend two of my favorite moods, Chill AF if you're trying to push through a work day and the Make You Move playlist if you've been putting off tasks or you need to get in a bit of a weekend, dancey, upbeat tempo mood. <laughs> oh my God, will I ever shut up? <laughs> my very zen working girl setup right now. Some fresh flowers, a freshly made coffee, I'm showered. I've got my new little uh, kimono robe on that I uh, succumbed to TikTok ad, but it's really cute. A little moon on the back. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a big fan of these mini robes at the moment, as you have been able to tell. Floor is clean, diffuser is pumping out some like nice zen scents. We're off to a good start. I actually haven't had um, a morning like this, kind of a physical self-care morning in ages. I kind of just took a little bit out of my morning to have a slow rise. And then I worked out for like 30 or 40 minutes. I did kind of a ab workout and then I went outside and skipped for 10 minutes and just kind of broke a sweat. Came home and dry brushed and got into the shower and like I've just been looking so forward to this coffee. Obviously I have a working for myself flexible schedule privilege but um, I don't know I just feel like I love living life like that in terms of just intuitively waking up and seeing what I need that day to kind of I don't know appease my mind is that kind of the term I'm looking for. Anyway, I'm off to a good kind of headspace for actually getting work done today. Like I'm excited now that I've taken care of myself. I already mentioned that I got an iPad. I'm, I've been collecting clips for so long, I, I don't even know, but I feel like a big girl now. I think the 12 inch iPad Pro, this is a lot more relaxed and a leisurely way of working than kind of like cracking open your laptop or your eyes going square from your phone. Been enjoying it. A lot so far. I'm still getting to grips with some of the apps um, that I feel like are appropriate for my workflow on my iPad, but so far I'm so happy. Mila Note, it's kind of a good mood boarding um, app. It's not a full app, I just saved the web page and made it like an icon so it's like easy access, but it kind of feels like an app and it's been quite good for mood boarding and project management at the moment. I have officially hired an assistant for one day a week for the foreseeable, so I actually have to do a mood board for her today. Like this is the bit I'm struggling with 
with is learning how to like delegate because I'm a bit of a control freak when it comes to my work. I just want to be involved in every aspect of it, but that is what I have to do today. I mentioned a couple of times since I got back, I kind of structured a new schedule for myself where I do one week being a creative and actually creating content and then one week doing more research and development and working on all of these like things that I want to do in the background and passion projects and I'm on that like R&D week now and I think I'm at the stage where I can start kind of looking at new websites. I'm on the Squarespace website now just kind of looking at some templates. I feel like once I get a website up and running my ideas will feel real and tangible because I'm a big ideas person but I often need people to kind of help me actually make them a realization and I think hiring an assistant and kind of really focusing all of my energy on materializing my ideas is kind of where I'm at at the moment. So I think people that work similarly to me will relate to the fact that like you just want to do everything and you want to do it all on your own when in reality the best things are always a team effort they're always a result of collaboration such a block for me but i am making progress I'm sure you all know what i'm about to say but a little reminder that if you need your little slice of the internet whether it be a blog or just um, a page with info about you and your business or an e-commerce shop whatever it may be if it's a website squarespace has got you covered from start to finish please no more bad websites in 2021 there is no excuses when there is platforms like squarespace that'll say you up with a beautiful clean professional responsive website up and running in no time buy your domain choose your template style and customize it to your specific needs all from home you don't need to be a professional but if you do need any extra help at all they have a 24 7 support team always on hand i feel like at this point it goes out saying squarespace are sort of the creme de la creme chef's kiss of websites and if you'd like to try it for free you can just use my link in the description below squarespace.com slash tarmer if you love how your website looks and you'd like to continue with the service you can use my code tarmer for 10 percent off your future billing anyway i'm gonna shut up now and enjoy my coffee from my lovely uh fancy glass my firm living glasses which i only use honestly when i'm feeling like a fancy girl and uh do some work you all seem to be having fun coming along for the Tara and her man's transatlantic dinner FaceTime date nights. So I thought I'd take you along again. This is probably as involved as you'll get in my relationship, but um, it's a really fun and highlighty, I suppose, part of my week. And you guys seem to be getting ideas from it. And it's something you could totally do at home by yourself. Obviously they're just recipes, but also really fun to do with your partner and like get them involved. Waste not, want not, I'm using the chicken thigh, um, but we're making fried chicken. Fail safe. Have it marinating in the spices and the buttermilk, and um, I'm gonna leave it marinating for at least four hours, which it's better if you do it overnight. Deep fried fatty chicken, we can't really go too wrong, but I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Healthy, I don't know her. Weird, we're doing comfort food. Comfort food is on the menu tonight. Very cute. What? Thank you. I love you. <laughs> That's so funny. I just caught that on the vlog. I was just vlogging something really quick. I was just vlogging. No vlogging. No vlogging that. I was just showing them my sauce, and then you said something nice. Is that live? Well, <laughs> no, it's not live. What's the outtake? What's it gonna say? <laughs> it's just you saying you look very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to tell them I made. A little quick garlic mayo situation. The fresh garlic and the lemon juice. Guys, it looks so good. <laughs> Trifecta of sauces and everything. I 
thought I'd flip on the camera because I'm making lunch and I'm actually totally copying something I saw on Estee's Instagram, Estee Lalonde. Where Rebecca Monroe made it for her. I don't know, but we're, we're making the same thing. I've got my nice slice of whole wheat organic sourdough. Beautiful. Um, it's like a soft vegan cheese. It's classic chive by this brand. Um, and I have to say, I really like it. The ingredients are also pretty good. I've definitely been double checking the labels on everything since um, being at the holistic doctor. He kind of sent me home with a pack of like ingredients to watch out for. So I've kind of been, like I'm pretty good anyway. I eat quite a lot of whole foods. I cook a lot at home and I eat a lot at home. I probably only eat out like two times a week max in New York, which is kind of low for a New Yorker. But obviously for the natural medicine to work, it'll just work faster if your diet consists more of whole foods. So it's just certain ingredients, oils and stuff that I've been kind of a bit more vigilant about and kind of just step that up a little bit. But the ingredients in that are really, really good. The natural medicine that I am taking has had such an impact on me already and has made so, like, uh, like you guys, I, I'll probably get into it another time. Here is what we've come up with. So I'm sure it would be delicious. I haven't had like fresh garlic like this in ages. My breath is going to stink. We've had a bit of an unexpected delivery. Best guess for what this is. I've just thrown it on, so excuse this mess. But it is a little backrest for my low profile bed. Um, what I noticed when I was painting the wall after the subletters left, I just felt like it was so grubby around the wall. And naturally, because I didn't have like a headboard or a back thing, um, all of just like the dirt, either from, you know, wet hair, backs, pillows, whatever, kind of just collected around the bed. And I kind of wanted to prevent that from happening again. And also, I spend a lot of time in this spot. I like relax here, I eat here, I read here, I work here a lot of the time. And lately I've been feeling the lack of support in my back kind of bothering me. I love the minimalistic look of a very simple, simple bed. I didn't want anything that was visible. Um, once the pillows were on. Uh, I didn't want a headboard, didn't want anything like that. I was just looking into a lot of solutions. This company that I follow on Etsy for a while, because they do so many cool bed solutions, they do this amazing, like they're basically called soft frames, I think, but they do all of these amazing kind of separate things that you can add on to your bed. The color is perfect. It looked a lot wider online, but I'm glad it's this slightly warmer white, exactly what I wanted. So all in all, very happy. A lot of you guys ask what the bed sits on. You should never have a flat mattress on the floor because you won't get the support. Um, so there's a four inch box spring platform from Amazon. And I have my Lisa hybrid mattress, which is the greatest thing of all time. Honest to God, if you can afford it, holy hell, get it. It'll be the best investment you ever have. It's um, spring, half spring, and then memory foam on top. You know, for the loft, this is the look I like. So I'm very, very chuffed with that. Another day in Manhattan, which means I can only be here for one thing, another exercise class. Anyway, as with any day in Manhattan lately, I'll be making the most of it in between all of this noise. And that's a nice thing planned. Well, was a die-in for a surprise. Thought I was here for a boxing class. Turns out a lot of the Rumble studios are like Rumble Fitness, which is more like conditioning training. Imagine my face when I saw a treadmill, because usually I would run the other way. I don't do the treadmill, but it was actually a really fun class and it wasn't too hard. Like it was hard, but like I could do it. In the end, it actually all kind of worked out. Okay, I'm showered. I'm dressed. I got my favorite Nike techie shorts on. I did actually find kind of a close dupe on Nike website recently, so I'll leave it down below. Old and other stories tank. Um, a snake chain with a twist. This is the Daisy by Estee Lalonde. Um, kind of crinkly snake chain. I don't know the official name, but I'll try and find it below. Old Marameco tote. All Nike'd out, guys, but uh, this is kind of my comfy outfit. I do love getting ready in Rumble, though. It's kind of like a perk of getting a class here. Can I take my time getting ready because they've got all the nice spa products and nice bits, nice bits, you know? So, however, their bloody showers are always like, like, do you know in movies when they're trying to contain, like there's a contagious outbreak 
and there's like a hazmat team and they get the people and they like power wash them that's what it feels like it feels like being genuinely hosed down by a power washer i turned to the side and nearly took off my nip anyway i need to speed up town now to meet jess because we're doing some fun stuff don't text and talk people i am so out of the practice of being a manhattaner i've been walking in the wrong direction for six minutes and you know that six minutes in new york is gold that's like four or five avenues and shit's be wide like i'm gonna it's gonna be a while before i get to the train now but it's fine me and jess are both late we're both always perfectly on time because we're both always late Back in Brooklyn after my big day out, stopped to get an orange juice that I was craving. The Bad Bagel does like the best fresh orange juice. It's like, I described it as, you know, every like two years you have the perfect orange juice. This is it. I'm looking a bit worse for wear, not gonna lie. Hair is looking a bit crazy, a bit sticky outy. Makeup has just worn off. I was out way longer than I anticipated. I thought I would be back home by like three or four ended up not leaving Central Park with Jess after the exhibition till five. Um, so we had a nice, really long quality day with each other. It was so good. Like I love, we have those days every once in a while where we just kind of do our thing. Also, my mascara is half running down my face. Cause like when we were in Central Park, we had like a little moment where we both like cried out of like just happiness for just having each other as friends. Like I obviously have loads of lovely people I've met through social media. But like me and Jess have been through so many phases together and like we were neighbors at one point. Like she literally lived like in the apartment across down one floor for me. So I don't know, we've just kind of like gone through stages of New York with each other. Kind of a nice little thing that we have and like we haven't really changed much at the core as people and um i don't know. She's just like my little baby girl. I love her so much. So we had a bit of a like an emo grateful moment for each other. Quickly have my dinner, watch Love Island, which I've been glued to. Pretty much seen every episode this season. It's finally livened up, thank God. Um, and head to um, another doctor's appointment with my holistic doctor, so. Doing hot girl shit. <laughs> 